Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Shiva Raya. And I'm Dr. Shivi Raya, and we're both GPs. And we're both brother and sister. Yes, our parents weren't super original when they decided to name us. But we weren't terribly original when we both chose to become doctors as well. But here we are, and we're making a video. This one is about muscular back pain that's been present for less than six weeks and that you've already checked out with your doctor. It excludes any neurological pain, such as radiating pain, weakness, pins and needles, tingling or numbness, as well as anything more serious, such as infection, malignancy or fractures. Did you get all of that? Because that's our disclaimer. Really, the video is mainly to help you minimize your pain and to improve your functionality. We'll be giving you some advice on different postures, simple exercises and some general tips on how to manage your back pain. So let's get started. Sitting is one of those back postures that can really make your lower back pain significantly worse. Often people find that they're very slouched in their sitting and twisted when they're sitting down. It's important to make sure that when you are sitting, your feet are well supported on the ground and your back is far back against the backrest. If your back doesn't reach the backrest, you can always put a back support just above your hips and you can get these from your physiotherapist. Try not to sit for longer than about 10 minutes at a time. So the key to lifting is to make sure that you don't just bend at the back like I'm going to do right now. That's not good. So the way you lift is to squat at the hips and the knees. That's the correct way to lift. The next thing is when you are turning, you should not be twisting. So this would be an example of twisting that's not the right way to do it. The best way to do it is to make sure that you turn your body around and then you put your parcel wherever you need to. So that helps to protect your back and not injure it further. These next few exercises can be done in the morning, afternoon and night. If you need further information on more exercises, you can seek the advice of a physiotherapist. So the first exercise involves lying down on your back, feet shoulder width apart and keeping your hands nice and relaxed. Take one knee to your chest to where it's comfortable and then bring it slowly back down. Do the same thing with the other knee and then bring it back down. And you can do this five times and working your way up comfortably to ten times. The second exercise involves you keeping your feet shoulder width apart, keeping your knees Together, rolling side to side. Again, only working to where it's comfortable. Going up to five repetitions and it's comfortable going up to 10. Lying on your tummy, whether you have back pain or not, creates a lot of pressure on the lower back. Ideally, you want to lie on your side with your hips, shoulders and feet in alignment and even increasing further comfort by popping a pillow between your knees. This stops your back from twisting and keeps it further in better alignment. Other measures to manage your back pain are to use simple analgesia such as paracetamol, to use anti-inflammatories that you can get over the counter as long as you don't have a condition that prevents you from using them such as kidney problems, stomach problems, high blood pressure, or if you're using any blood thinners. And the other thing that can help is using a heat pack that can help to release muscle tension and spasm as well. It's also important to be in a healthy weight range as excess weight can place a significant amount of pressure on the lower back. If you continue to have lower back pain, it's important to make sure that you seek your medical practitioner's advice for further assessment and management. And that's it guys. These are our tips for managing lower back pain. See you next time.